We got your back, Road Warriors. It's <sighs> not a damn thing on TV. Uh, there's nothing interesting going on on Facebook or Instagram. <sighs> it's just the same old stuff. Really? Yep, I'm not surprised. You think that someone would post something now? You know, it's like. It's really so, late. Like, why would anyone be posting around this now? People uh, are usually out, like, partying or something. I don't know. I mean, what those people, people like to just party and party, do drugs, smoke weed, get drunk. We're not those type of people. Yeah. You know? We like to, we, we're like more of like a stay home and chill thing. We're more like a Netflix and chill. Yeah, Netflix and chill, that's it. That's what, that's what the kids yeah. say, right? Yeah, that's what they say, but... Mm -hmm. I'm so tired. I mean, um, I we stay up all last night watching movies and movies. Now we have no more movies to watch. We have nothing to watch, and I'm movie buff one. I should be having movies to watch all the time. I, you know, like I constantly watch movies and to review and everything. I can't think of anything to watch. I'm so tired. I came and I have no energy. Um, uh, let's see. Maybe want to check. You want to check the mail to see if we can to see if we got a free movie. At this hour, I'm just like. Yeah. Come on, Kyle. <sighs> check the mail. I think it's best. You sure. Yeah, come on. Uh, check the mail. You never know. We may get it's like too, it's free. too late. The mail would have came by now. I mean, like you know, but you, yeah, but we didn't check it all day. The mail would have came by now. Why do you think the mail? Why do we think something would come in the mail at eleven fifteen at night? You never know. Maybe the mailman's like hours could be could be like off. Oh. Come on, Kyle. Just check it. You never know. Yeah. Okay. Gotta get my shoes on and everything. It's outside. no big deal. Is it raining outside? Oh no. Fuck! It's raining outside. I gotta get my jacket on. <sighs> Can't believe I'm going to get the mail at this hour. There's a DVD in here that me and Lisa can watch with tonight. So I don't really want to go to the movies tonight. What the hell is this? Oh, so it must be a letter. What does it say? To Kyle and Lisa. Not even just an address or anything. Just to Kyle and Lisa. Hmm. I've got to show this.
this letter. I don't know if it's a letter or a note or whatever it is. I gotta show Lisa. I gotta show my baby. Hey Lisa, babe, look what I look what I found. Hey Lisa, uh -huh. Lisa, babe, look. Yeah, yeah. Oh, this you is. Boy, you fell asleep. You fell asleep already. I'm tired. I'm sorry. Uh, but look, what we, look what we got in the mail. To Kyle and Lisa. It's not a movie or a DVD or anything, but. All right. Do you want to see what what I see with the envelope says? Yeah. Yeah. To Kyle and uh, Lisa, enjoy your movie. Enter the theater if you dare. Walt? Who's Walt? I don't know who Walt is. It... What is this? Oh, that's very neat. We got two tickets for the invitation. Two tickets for the invitation. But wait. It's no, it's in blood. To Kyle. To Kyle and Lisa, enjoy your movie. Enter the theater if you dare. Wall. Who is Wall? And I don't why know. is it written in blood? That's weird. What am I see the movie anyway? We have nothing better to do. I mean, yeah, come on, let's go. And I see. heard it was really good, you know. Yeah. I, I don't know. Do you, do you dare to see the movie? Come on. I mean, from the strategy from the trailer, it looks really good. Come okay, on. Okay, but I don't. I don't trust this Wall guy. Come All right. On. Well, let's go see it. I mean, this is... We got nothing better to do. It's a little weird, though, that he just gave us this invitation out of nowhere. Probably, probably saw our movie reviews, and he wants us to review the movie. Alright, let's go see it. You know? But... I don't know. I don't trust it. What do you think? Come on, it's just a movie. Alright, let's go see it. It's creepy, though. Pack our stuff. Alright, let's get our shoes on. Yeah. So, the invitation. You ready to go see it, Lisa? Yeah, I am. Here's your ticket. Thank you. Here's my ticket. And I'll leave this here. Let's go see the invitation. You ready to see it? Yeah. Yeah. So, I'll turn the light off. It's. I'm excited to see it, aren't you? I hope it's really good. I'm sure it'll be good. Yeah, let's, let's, let's go to the movies. Hey, what's up? Kai here again. I'm here with my wonderful, beautiful girlfriend, Lisa, here again. Mm -hmm. XX Star XX. Hi, guys. Hi. And uh, we're here to do another more review. We just got out of seeing The Invitation, a new horror film. Um, and um, funny story. I, um, it, today's a, t today's Saturday, and um, we we I got the mail. We you remember you told me to go get the mail late yeah. today, mm -hmm. and um, the mail came so late today. The mail came in so late, 
I don't know why the mail was so late today at night. I got the mail so late today, but guess what came in the mail? Two tickets for the invitation. And we didn't plan for this. Yeah. Yeah, two tickets, three tickets to the invitation, for the invitation, to, to go to the invitation at, at Regal Cinema. And that is just weird that we got free tickets to the, to see the movie. Mm. That is weird. It was in the mailbox, and I didn't know it was in there. I just you, you said that you, you go check the mail today, and I checked the mail, I, and I, and we just got an invitation just to see the the movie. Mm. How how often does that happen? Isn't that cool? Probably once in the blue moon. Yeah, but why why did the mailman not leave it? Why did the mail the mailman like you know why did he leave drop it off so late at night? No idea. No idea. Post office is is running slow lately, but yeah. um, but anyways, uh, we got an invitation to see the invitation, and uh, we just got seeing the invitation. And what'd you think of it? I mean, I liked it. It was very interesting. I mean, the concept was actually really, really unique. I mean, I seen like a whole bunch of I seen like a whole bunch of like Cause vampire you... movies like related to Dracula. I mean, I remember reading Dracula back in high school, but. Wait for that sound to go up. Yeah, there we go. But yeah, like it's okay. You can you can talk over it. <laughs> I mean, it's very very interesting. Like I think the concept is like really cool. I like the gothic atmosphere. I like the idea of like an artsy girl like mm -hmm. traveling to this one mansion. I mean, it did give me a little bit of a haunted mansion vibe. Haunted man, like not like in a horror sense, you know. Yeah, like yeah, it's technically the horror horror version of like the haunted mansion, except that without ghosts involved, these are all vampires. Yeah. And I thought it was going to be like a cult type of movie. But it's not a cult. No. Well, there is sort of a cult vibe to it, if you yeah, think about it. Yeah, I mean, except that the cult movies like deal with the devil. This is just more like... Demons and stuff. Yeah, more like vampires. and Well, not vampires. Oh, well, vampires, yeah. This is more vampires, not specifically demons. Demons are a whole yeah. different... De demons are a whole different ball game. Yeah, at first I thought it was like a demons like kind of thing, but then mm -hmm. it's vampire-ish kind of thing. Yeah. Vampire-ish kind of movie. It's pretty. It was pretty cool. It was pretty. It was really good. I enjoyed this movie a lot. I. It's not my favorite vampire movie, but I. I really liked it a lot. And we just watched a vampire movie recently. Another vampire movie, which was uh pretty good. At, you know, at my party. And my. I had a, a recently. I had my birthday was recently, and I had a thirtieth birthday party. Um. With a couple of friends over. Mm -hmm. My friend Mark got me this movie called Let Me In. Yeah, that's the one we saw. Chlo with Chloe Grace, Mortez, and uh, who else was in it? I don't know. That's the only actress I knew. But uh, it was really, it was pretty good, you know. That uh, was really good, though. That was really good, you know. It took more of a real realistic approach. Yeah. Um, and that's a good movie. If you haven't seen that, you guys haven't seen that yet. That was from like 2012. What year? 2010. 2010. And that's a really good movie. Um, this movie was... Uh, PG thirteen. That movie was rated R. Yeah. This is this is and if I if I when I do a DVD update, I'll review it in the next DVD update. Uh, let me in. But this, anyways, back to the invitation. This was very good. Mm. Um, I I liked it more than probably than she did. I mean, I liked it. I mean, it was actually very interesting, as I said before. Very interesting concept. Mm. I mean, I can see the appeal behind this. I mean, I like the yeah. gothic atmosphere. I like the main protagonist that be manipulated into being the part of the family. Yeah. And then there are like a couple of twists and turns, which I mean, I saw coming, but I feel like the movie was a little predictable. Like I knew like who I mean, I knew who the bad guy was. And well, yeah. I mean, it, I mean, I have to say, the bad guy kind of looked like the uh, Remy Malik from uh. Oh yeah, from Bohemian Rhapsody. Yeah, from Bohemian Rhapsody and Night of the Museum. I don't know if it's the same guy. Was it the same guy? No. It wasn't oh really? The same guy. Hmm. Yeah, because I really didn't know anyone from this movie. So I know the main girl. The main girl, I think she was from Game of Thrones. Yeah, she was. Yeah, she was from Game of Thrones. Was she? Yeah, I think she's from Game yeah. of Thrones. But the rest of the cast, I had no idea who they were. I did not no, recognize anyone. Must be newcomers or something. Yeah, I think I think everyone must be newcomers. Yeah, but one of the, I think the blonde girl. I think I know. Ooh, Lucy. Lucy. Yeah, she she looked familiar. Mm, we'll have to look up the actors later. Yeah. But anyways, though, if you guys don't know what this movie's about, this is about a girl who actually goes through this website to find out her ancestors and whatnot. Mm -hmm. And then she found out that this British family 
who I'm not sure what part of England they were, or I'm not sure if they're from London or England. I think I'm going to assume England. Um, they claim that they're part, that she's part of the family, and then she ends up falling for some guy named Walt, and then it turns out to be something that was very unexpected. He was very, very manipulative. Like, I mean, the actor who played Walt, he, he was really yeah, good. He was, like, yeah. like, I thought his part was actually unbelievable. Like, it was mm -hmm. really, really believable. Like, really unbelievable. Yeah. I mean, I liked the main girl, I thought Evie. he was going to turn out to... Well, yeah. Well. I mean, I didn't... I mean, I mean, from the trailer, though, I kind of knew something was up with the with the, with Walt's character. But... Well, don't give too much away. I, I'm not going to give anything away, though. But I'll just say, it's a little predict It was a little bit kind of predictable for me, but I liked the concept. But continue what were you saying about the story? Um, if I were to tell more, like, I'll give away spoilers. Oh, yeah. But in the end, though, it was actually really... I mean, it was a very, very cool concept. I mean, I've seen this kind of plot line before in other vampire movies, but this one, I have to say, it was actually really interesting taking the whole romance, vampire subgenre. I mean, I haven't seen a film like this in, like, in a very long time. So it was, it, yeah. it was actually kind of... It was, it was like a nice treat to bring it back into yeah. the modern area. I mean, the effects in this movie were actually really well done for a PG-13 flick. I mean, I expected a little more gore, but again, it's PG-13, so... Yeah. But with a gothic atmosphere like this, I assumed it was going to be another like R-rated movie. I didn't expect it to get PG-13, though. Yeah. But I think because it cut out most of the gore, they had didn't have a lot of strong language in it. Yeah. But I think the only reason why they made PG-13 is all because of the whole, like, like dark vibe. Mm. Like, I don't, I can't, I cannot see this getting, a, I mean, I could kind of see this getting an R rating, unless there's an uncut I could get, version. I could see but, this getting an R rating, yeah. Yeah, but then again, they cut out the gore, they didn't have, they didn't have much gore, they had a little bit of blood in it. And the trailer, it makes it look gorier. Yeah, like, the trailer really fooled us. Like, I did not, did. like, I did not expect this to get, made, to get a PG-13. Yeah, and, and... We saw another movie last, uh, was it a couple weeks couple ago? couple weeks ago, Bodies, 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 Bodies. That was a piece of garbage. And that got an R rating. And that got an R rating. That didn't have that much blood in it. It was it, a terrible it, movie. The reason, I'm going to tell we you. We didn't even review it. We were planning on reviewing it. We were like, we, nah. No, it's horrible. This movie was so much way better than, uh, yeah. than that movie. I mean, it's. I, I I just did not like Bodies, Bodies, Bodies. I, was, I didn't like it either, so don't worry. It was horrible. It was funny, but it was a, it was like a comedy, but horror, like dark, dark. It was a dark comedy. Dark comedy horror. It, it's not even horror. Like it's it's supposed to be like a slasher horror movie. Um, it was it was more of a dark comedy. But let me tell you, the reason why that got an R rating is all because of the LGBT stuff. Yes. And then and then it, all because of the all because of the strong language. Of how a lot there was a lot of strong language. I that's, was laughing throughout the whole movie. That's why that movie got the R rating for this one yeah. though. This for the invitation. It did not have any strong language. It didn't have. It, it had blood in it. it had blood. One but, one part skied me out. A couple parts skied me out. With, yeah. With the nail, like the nail filing. Yeah, and because you don't know nail, if you're. And, she, and she sucks the blood. And then there was a couple parts that maybe jump, like you know, scare and stuff. Yeah, there were a couple jump scares in jump this. Jump scares in this. That but not really, a lot, though. Don't worry. Yeah, this was really good. But um, the effects are great. Yeah, the, the effects are, are really good. good. Yeah, yeah, effects are really amazing mm -hmm. for PG thirteen. Yeah, like, for PG thirteen, I'm like shocked they got away with a lot. They did, yeah. I mean, I'm I'm shocked it's not R rated. I'm shocked too. If, I, if this, this is was... R rated, though, I would enjoy it a little bit more. But no, for, I, it, does, it doesn't for matter PG, what the rating is. For PG thirteen, just as, though, it was really good. No, I don't care if it's PG thirteen or R. It's it, it has to be. It has to deliver the the, the goods. And yeah, this, exactly. And this delivered. This mm -hmm. delivered for what it. Was. Yeah, that wasn't I agree. like the total best thing. I wouldn't say it's the total best thing I best horror film I've seen. Yeah, but it's worth checking out. But uh, let's get down to the ratings. Um, uh, ten out of ten. Ten out of ten. I give it ten out of ten. Definitely worth checking out. Yeah, I highly I liked recommend it. it. Yeah, yeah, we like it. And it's I know it's cliche and it's like and, a Dracula type of movie. And it was predictable. A little, a little, a little, a little, a little bit predictable. But give, but Hollywood's coming out, coming off with like. Not not coming up with a lot of ideas, but what can they do? Exactly. You know, they, they, I mean, all it is now is just reboots and remakes. But this wasn't a remake or reboot. This yeah, this was is an actually original a idea. Yeah, like thank God, like at least like some directors have like original ideas for once. Yeah, but you know, I mean, I just liked it. You know, there's some other ones that that came out this this year that were like letdowns that are like this type of that were this type of like 
movie like you know this kind of thing mm. but this was really good this was not yeah. a letdown yeah thank god yeah this was not a letdown mm. but this a 10 out of 10 definitely go see the invitation and yes. see it in theaters so well, it's, it's in theaters it's only in theaters yeah but it'll, it'll, probably go, it'll probably go on streaming eventually yeah i'm gonna probably get this movie this was really good mm. 10 out of 10 definitely go see the invitation mm. definitely check it out Hey, we go guys. Hope we just moved for you that we did. Thanks a lot for watching, for subscribing. Definitely give this video a thumbs up. Leave a comment below. Please rate, subscribe. Hit my girlfriend on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and Tumblr. Follow her on MeWe. <laughs> subscribe to her XX Mental Star XX on YouTube. Thanks a lot for watching, for subscribing. And I'll see you all next time. All, all right. right. Peace. Peace. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoy the review. And go see The Invitation. Peace. See you guys in the next one. See you in the next one.